Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking back at some of the missions. We've had a request from a subscriber to quickly check that the settings haven't changed massively in 1.25. So back to Gone with the Wind and we're looking at the 400 foot meter drag race. We're going to be racing a Dodge Viper. It's manual transmission only. There's also some other limitations which we'll see when we get in. We won't look at the car yet. We'll talk about that when we get there. And here we are. The other setting changes will be auto drive off, traction control off and gear shift manual off. They're restrictions from the game. Not saying that I use it. My friend list on the right hand side. I'm not even in the top 10 times of my mates. Which which isn't a surprise. Drag racing isn't my forte. We're currently using the R32 GTR V-Spec 294. Which is the same one as we used last time. Settings. Let's go and have a look at those racing softs all round and what we've got there is fully customizable racing transmission we've put everything to racing here brakes we don't need to worry about because brakes are what they are high rpm turbos anti-lag on strong racing intercooler no clutch flywheel maybe that clutch flywheel should be on something better to encourage a faster gear change we've got every engine modification you could possibly find light weighting done increased body rigidity they're all done and let's go and see what this setup does this is the original setup that i think we use for the mile not the original setup that i used on this last time because we're just walking back to the car but the aim of this video will just take you through some setup changes to try and beat that time so you can't false start on this one i bury the throttle and when the lights go out we go we've got massive turbo lag and look at that nowhere near almost a second off the guy in the other guy my reaction time's pretty poor but i can immediately see some changes there from from this process we have got massive turbo lag so let's go into the car settings and try and resolve that well turbo lag comes from the fact that you spool up on your turbo is pretty poor we're going to run probably the low rpm turbo which will give us a better kick in the butt we're going to put the rate intercooler probably down to normal to try and just We've lost 22 pp and we've lost 100 brake horsepower. Well, that's amazing. Well, the idea here is that we're going to try and just get as much airflow to the turbo. And let's see how that works out. It might be wrong. We don't know how real the, the system is. But we're trying to just cut out that lag. Still got set turbo lag into second. And we don't have as much oomph down the track, do we? So that's actually slower, but we got a better launch. So back into settings. Now let's change car. That's not what we wanted to do. So this will give you guys just a hint at how we go about assessing what the best way is to... Did that say ultra high turbo down there? It did. But we're going to keep the anti-lag system on. We're going to put this back to racing, just on a medium. We've got all the gears it can give us. Gears-wise, what are we doing on gears? So we went straight to that last time. We've got 410 on the power. Hmm, I wonder if part of the problem is the fact that we are thinking about going too fast. Because we're only doing 400 meters, quarter of a mile or so. Let's see what happens there with that adjustment. 
Might get wheel spin now. Oh, I didn't have me foot on the brake, did I? Ah, oh, folks. Amateur. Strictly amateur. Lots of wheel spin. But, somewhere near to where we were. We just need to launch slightly better, don't we? I'm going to put that big turbo back on. And see if that helps us at all. And I'm going to... Just nudge that down 10. And then we're going to try and understand where the problem is. Closer. I actually hit him on the rundown. Gonna try that again. I went before the line. I was trying to predict the lights. You don't get the tree like you do in real drag racing, do you? gonna get this to go off the line oh, interesting so it used to be possible it used to be very possible so let's just understand what we've got going on I wonder whether this has got... Ah. Oh my lordy lordy lordy, look at that. Is nitrous a thing? Can we use nitrous? Is that what I'm missing? So the nitrous button, folks, is R3. go it's all about the nitrous folks so we came second but we've actually improved our time so we've shortened the gears the clutch stall then so what we do know is we need to go and put the clutch in oh I wonder if a longer gear off the run is actually needed as well we're not far away we're not far away from getting this at all I'm still not in my top 10 friends I also don't get an understanding of how long I took so let's get that gear it was at 390 wasn't it and for some reason I thought 310 was the place we needed to be but let's let's go at 340 is there any more adjustment on that nitrous 70 is the maximum yeah okay what I want to quickly go and do and I'll quickly go and do that before we do anything is I will go and stuff some a better clutch into this try and slicken up that gear change what I also want to do while we're talking about this 
is I need to improve my reaction time. How can I see the lights? Is there a better... Is there a better position to be driving from so we can see all the lights? So, clutch-wise, we want to put on maybe this one. Fully customizable suspension. Will that help us? We don't need the brake balance controller. We don't really need to worry about any of that, do we? Fully customizable LSD. So we can use that to reduce the slip, can't we? But we got forward to front. Have we got that? Active LSD controller is not available for this car. So fully customizable manual transmission. What have we got fitted? We've got the torque vector. We've got the fully customizable racing transmission. Hmm. But we've got the clutch now on. That's fine. We're good with that. Let's let's go and do that. Let's go and see if we can change views to give us a view of the lights, so we can see the lights maybe. I don't know if you can ever see the lights. I don't know whether you just have to go off the traffic lights that are in the car. And there's me talking to myself rather than talking to you folks. And that's just me dibbling around. So let's see what we just did. So a fully customizable racing transmission. Yes, set to 340. We've now got the racing clutch installed. High RPM turbo, anti lag. Yeah, and then we're going that way. So we've gone up gears. And we've fitted said item. And then we're going to flappy paddle. There we are. This is battle number three. I know the gears were set to 390 to deal with the 1,000 meter. I didn't do much changing, to be honest. But what we don't need is that big lump of lag and the third gear. So we'll see what does. We'll see where we go. Can we change the views? We can't change the view at all, can we? He's just got us. But we're setting better records. I don't see my time. What I want to do now is get that gear back up. No, we don't see it. Lights change, do we? Yeah, so we're going to change that back to 390. It was all about... Oh, look, we're just coming in at number 10. Look at that, we're back in at number 10. Happy days. Back to detailed settings. Going to change that back to 390. There we go. And then, with the longer gear run, let's see how much the nitrous gives us. Oh, fleth that up, didn't I? I suddenly forgot which part of my brain controlled my fingers. Start again. Feel like I need two hands to do this. Short shifted third. Keep going, keep going, we're going to get there. Foot on the brake. Well, I 
feel I need to lengthen that uh, that gearbox still. If I lengthen that gearbox some more. Lengthen that gearbox to 310, 410. See what does. He just got off in front of me, didn't he? He just got off in front of me. I've got to get that bet. I've got to. Just got to get that bear. I should click retry. I didn't press retry, did I? Is it all in that? Is it just about making that 4.30 now? And then we're going for it. I've got to get off that line quicker and I've got to use that nitrous. When you use nitrous, it really messes it in second, doesn't it? Yeah. So I think the, the sweet spot was 4.10. I didn't have my foot on the brake. Which makes for heroic events, doesn't it? Put your foot on the brake, you dipstick. Come on. Close, close, close. Just want to, just feel like the gears need just lengthening that smidge, don't they? They just need pushing out. I feel like I want to make the wheel smaller as well. But let's just push that to 450. See if we can get any closer. I want to use the nitrous in second, but not on the launch. Sweet spot on the launch. So we need to repeat that a couple of times. That that was about hitting the timing correctly off the line. Yes, we did. Yes, we do. Let's check that first before we go anywhere. Let's see what we like on the launch. That was pretty even. And the car just gripped and went, didn't it? It is. The front is picking up. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So look at that. We're up to seventh place now. Let's see if we can just repeat that again. about that gear it's all about the gear isn't it and getting a good tight launch so we 
down in the eights. So that's that's exactly what we've worked out is the difference. So the difference being is the car's got the power. It's nothing to do with the size of the turbo, which was my thoughts. It's just the gearing. The gearing in this car, how it's set up. Oh, wrong thing. The gearing in this setup is just the difference. So the car launches beautifully. I'm going to take that up to 490. 500, let's call it 500. Can't be bothered to take the clutch down. Let's see what the point the car bogs down off the line. I got that all wrong with my fingers again. Need to do that again. My brain and my hands weren't communicating. I was treating the... Whoa, we just jumped that. That was very close. I need nitrous in second, I don't know. Do need nitrous in second. Maybe the gear's fractionally too long now. Oh, I didn't put my foot on the brake, folks. I'm a dipstick. Let's get this right. Oh, I've messed up the gears. <sighs> Can't get my head around it. I want to hold my thumb on the nitrous from the start. I want nitrous in first gear. And I want to put my foot on the brake. have to use nitrous in second the gears probably just fractionally too long now yeah so back down to uh, no I've just done that again that's wrong my brain is messing with my hands Exit. Come on, back to the setup screen. Take that. Take that down to 470. And then let's get the routine right for the nitrous. know what the count is. Is it a count of five? It just got me on third gear then. When you get the launch, you, you get it right. When you get that timing, but is it exactly the same every time? Can we tree him? Uh, put your foot on the brake, you know. So 
so we need to start doing this consistently now it's all about the tree this folks that's how it's done just improving setting new times we've got an 8722 now we just catch the replay it's better replay when you see it from the start from behind I wonder what it'd be like if we go and put I like the way the brakes heat up then. Should we go and put some bigger tyres, smaller wheels and bigger tyres? And we're up, up to sixth now. There's a chance we can make our way further up. I don't think we can take 1.3 seconds off. But that would be a significantly better, faster car, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can go and put some uh, bigger, fatter, wider tyres on. I wonder if you could reduce the drag as well with what happens if because the wings can't really have that much of an effect at such a low speed it's when you get to the higher higher rev range that the wing the wings on the back will have that bit of an effect won't they so i asked that rhetorically i kind of know that wheels we want to put um something something with a bit more drag look to it that one I think maybe and let's see 17 inch standard size well that's fine I'd be happy with that it's a bit more tire let's go wide because then we've got more traction and we can't put a wide offset on we've just got the stand but that's fine more tire less rolling radius weight to get it going we don't need to be thinking about cornering. This is about launching off the line. I have no idea whether this has an effect on the car or the inertia or the getting it going. We don't have, what do you call it, locking, lockdown wheel rims. I can't remember the name of them. But... Uh, What we will do for the benefit of you guys is we will quickly run through that final setup and we will repost this video so you know it's entirely possible. But I didn't, while we were there, go and do the aero, did I? Hmm. Happy days. We've just changed the tyres, but let's see what that does. And then for science purposes, we'll go and look at the aero. See if we can take the aero off the car. Because we don't really need it, do we? We don't need that front splitter forcing the air around. Well, we do need it forcing the air around the car. We don't need downforce, do we? We don't really need steering, well, apart from it going squirrely on the start. But we do need the ability to go fast. And you won't do that with massive amounts of downforce. You just don't need the car to take off. So. Let's. Um, we're at minimum. We're at minimum. Okay. Happy days. That's where we are. Let's let's go and start this race then. Let's sit, get my brain to try and remember what it needs to do. Once you've got off on time, you've got to tree the guy, haven't you? That's the difference. You've got to tree him. I 
I didn't do it right then either, did I? No. Come on, let's tree this guy. Brakes. Too early. Too early. Not quite there. I've not. I can't do it all with my right hand. It's really quite tricky. Did not have my foot on the brake. What a complete flubber. Mm. Oh. oh dear. Too close. That's the better starting view. It seems to be roughly the same sort of lag between the fifth light and him going out, which is like five seconds. He stops before the thousand meter, that's quite impressive. But there we go folks, that's how you do it. Let's quickly run through those final settings just to show you what they are. Racing stops all round. Suspension is normal. Differential's normal. We could we could change to other suspensions, I would suggest, that give you better traction, better launch, better gear change, better better control of the car off the line. We could also talk about better differential. So, if you get the rear wheels locked on acceleration, you can propel yourself forward much quicker. We've got torque distribution at 50-50 there. Downforce is set to the minimum. ECU's at 100%, power restrict 100. We've got the gear set to 470 with a fully customizable rating. Nitrous is on, and that was the difference between the start of the race and the end of the race for me. High RPM turbo, anti-lag, strong racing, racing air cleaner, racing silent rigs, racing exhaust, racing brake pads, but don't think you need them, that's just an extra expense, unless they're there to hold you on the line, I guess. Racing clutch, we haven't got a upgraded prop shaft, I don't think. Every possible application apart from the fancy stuff, the titanium connecting rods, because I don't think you can get them default. I think they're a gift. We've got the weight stage reductions done and the increased body rigidity. And that setup will get you to pass the test. Let's go and do it just one more time, just for fun. And we'll leave you with the final run through on the, on the replay. I'm not going to get around him, am I? The key with this is definitely the ability to tree the guy. Oh. 
we were slow off the launch then, weren't we? Let's redo that. I really want to just roll my foot to the left and let it off the brake pedal, but I don't want to wake the wife up. Oh, he's got me on third gear. I'm going to try again. I want to tree him. I want to get him up the line. I'm going to change, see if it'll let me change the... I haven't got my foot on the brake. to change the view and I'm going to take a couple of goes to do that so I want to be on the view what's the view in the top left hand corner what's the big green bit Definitely gets me in third. I need to get on the tree, don't I? Mm. All you got to do is tree him. If you hit that timing sweetly off the lights, there you are. We'll let you go with the uh, with the video. Let's have a look at the rerun. Then we'll see where we end up on the friends list. Just like to say thank you for watching today. It's a very short video and you just goes through, basically this video just goes through my approach to how to retune a car and how to understand it. And I'm not a scientist. I'm not your Dr. Tuna Moore. I am just a dude who doesn't know nothing about drag racing. Just going A to B as fast as possible. There it was. Not really the best replay. But let's see where we are. Still sixth. So just a smidgey behind Big Popper. But still 1.2 seconds off Alex at the top. And my guess is he was running. He was running something. Oh, look at that. Tomahawks. Tomahawks are the one. And there's me with a V-spec messing about with the guys at the top. We could... Uh, let's look at the top 10 stars, see what they've got. They're all Tomahawkers. And I've done it with... A vaguely familiar, decent car. I suppose the nearest one, if we look down there, look. Hit it, Johnny. Dave Cam's down there with a the repo competition. Where's my friend? Oh, he hasn't done it. Steve Dobber. Anyway, but that's it, folks. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.